Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and welcome back to RimWorld 1.5 Anomaly. Okay, so here's the thing. I have not experienced any of the Anomaly stuff besides the initial announcement. I have avoided all spoilers, I have avoided all, all like, things, so I am going to learn... A wearable pack that allows the user to deploy a battery-powered turret. That's pretty cool. Letting the user launch the turret a short distance. Okay. These turrets are effective for flanking and distracting enemies. However, the turret's limited AI cannot be... Okay. All right. That's pretty cool. So we've got Chris the Ghoul. Uh, he can regenerate. The, uh, the creature experiencing an impossibly fast rate of regeneration. It will heal nearly any wound in a short time. That's cool. So they can only do things like fighting. So they can only, they're only good at shooting. So you, sir. Wait, you can't. Okay, so why do you have a shooting skill if you can't equip a gun? Okay, so literally just, a, okay. So we got she and Omar. Neither of them are any good at shooting. That That's fine. Um... I'm gonna get them to equip the turret packs. Who's got good? Okay, so actually, I'll have Omar equip the turret pack and the and the and the knife, and uh, she can equip the the turret pack and the gun. Okay, Chris. I don't know what I do with you. So we've got the uncanny chimera details. Okay, so it's a book. Okay, what can we do with the book? We can read the book. We have a fallen monolith. Let's investigate. Choose who should study. Who has a good uh, research skill? Uh, none of them. Okay, she... Uh, do you know what? We may not actually investigate it just yet. Twisted lines carved into the surface form a disturbing pattern. Investigate to learn more. I think it's more important that we get ourselves set up. Proximity detector. A scannable a scanner capable of detecting invisible creatures the device raises an alarm oh god when it detects the presence of psychically invisible biosignatures within its radius okay okay it needs power okay so here's the thing i really don't know much about anomaly so we're going with a fairly um unmodded playthrough just if you call it a life uh mods but I'm curious to... Oh, okay, we can, oh, we can throw it quite a distance, actually. Um, I'm curious to give it a go. So we've got some twisted meat here, which... Pieces of twisted muscle and gristle, bloated with tumorous growth. Oh, these bizarre shreds of flesh must have come from a horrific creature indeed. Let's get ourselves set up with a little base and bioferrite. Decided to go and have uh, to ha oh, yeah. go ahead and have she uh, investigate the monolith. The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch. She thinks she can hear a faint hum emanating from insides. The line on its dusty surface seems to squirm in unsettling patterns. She focuses on the shapes, trying to uncover their meaning. The hum strengthens and shapes begin to flow in she's vision. But the surface isn't changing. Power begins to uncoil in the empty space all around. A black shape is forming in her mind. The anomaly is stirring okay walk away i don't like the sound of that let's let's just let's chill a little bit yeah let's let's not okay so we've got the proxom pro proximity proximity detector up and running that gives me i think a little bit of whoa wall lamps are directly built into the game now let's go that's that's exciting it's about time that they're finally in the game uh, we're gonna need some steel though because we have like no no steel we have some steel down here that's fine uh, and i want to build a fridge freezer for this twisted meat which i think is what chris eats uh, me, yeah raw meat and corpse oh, okay they eat corpses at least that's something so here's the thing do ghouls need to sleep where is chris they have a no they literally don't have a sleep a sleep uh, a rest requirements so that's actually pretty good i'm not going to complain about that he's only have to build two bedrooms that's you know that's a bonus a brucey bonus so bookshelf oh what's a holding platform a platform for holding dangerous entities the corners of 
have eyelets where strong chains can be attached. Downed entities can be captured and secured on a holding platform where they can be studied for anomaly knowledge. Increase containment strength by building strong walls and strong... Okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and uh, expand this. It's been a while since I've played such a vanilla playthrough, actually. It's kind of fun. Uh, we don't really have 39 survival mills left, though, which is not great. Chris is just eating raw meat. That's okay. We're going to have to set. Um, we're going to have to do some hunting because otherwise we're going to run out of raw meat. Let me get these bedrooms set up. I think I'll have she investigate the anomaly again. That's one bedroom set up, and that's the second bedroom set up. So we have bedrooms now. They're not the most ideal bedrooms, but, you know, they're cozy enough, I'm sure. I'm I'm curious. I'm going to have she investigate it again. Ooh. The monolith's dark metallic surface is warm to the touch, and she thinks she can hear a faint hum emanating from inside. We've already read this. Keep focusing on the anomaly, she. I don't like how it's got, how we've got three dead, but ooh, you have smoke leaves. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, take them. Oh boy. It got bigger. Intimate site. Okay, must discover the six. Okay, it got bigger. As the monolith twisted and changed, she was overcome with a horrifying vision. In an instant, she understood. The monolith is a doorway, just barely cracked open now. Something dark beyond imagination stirs on the other side, seeping into our reality. Terrified but excited, she is convinced she can learn more if given the time to study the monolith. Building category unlocked. Anomaly researched. Okay. All right. It's a quest. Okay. Gray pool. A blanket of gritty fog has descended in the area. The fog smells ancient somehow, and it stings the skin. The unnatural grayness of it invokes a sense of dread. Okay, well, let's go ahead and strip this dead body and have a feeling we're going to need those smoke leaves soon. Um, I don't have a research bench set up right now, but I will have research um, started. She, what's going on? Observe rotting corpse. All right, let's go ahead and get these... Um, corpses away so we don't have to get that mood debuff every time harbinger trees have sprouted nearby these gnarled trees grow flesh like coverings and can feed on corpses and raw meat placed nearby if well fed the grove will continue to grow in a tribal myth these trees have are the emissaries of a shapeless god who rules an endless black ocean the myth ends after the shapeless god reaches up from the water and tears down the sky because that's not spooky is it I mean, we'll create a corpse stock bar. We might as well use these corpses, I suppose. I like that this is a good way of getting rid of corpses, though. That That's good. That's good. We like getting rid of corpses. That's, that's nice and easy. That makes it more efficient. I should also probably set up a couple of growing zones. Um, I don't think I'm going to focus too much on anything apart from just straight up food for now. So I think it's going to be rice, just for now, just to get things started. I don't think we have that much, that high of a growing skill. Anyway, plants two. Oh, plants 11. That's pretty good. Plants 11 is pretty good. Sight stealer revealed. Twisted creature has appeared out of thin air. Sight stealer. Emanciated and misshapen humanoids. Their arms end in sharp curled claws formed from bioferrite. Sight stealers are fragile, but use psychic elements to render themselves invisible until they get close to their victims. They are known to emit haunting screams as they gather on their terrible hunts. Well, that's not horrifying at all, is it? She, uh, can we, can we return to the home? Return to home? Oh no, you're going the wrong way, she. Okay, um, shoot it. Shh. Okay, so it's too close. Okay, run run. Uh, Chris, come down here as well. And Chris, beat that thing up. She, run. I'm worried he's going to steal your eyes. Oh god, she's about to die, isn't she? Okay, okay, okay. Right, Chris, stab it. 
Omar, wait for Chris. Why is the ghoul called Chris? Okay, you don't have any medical skill either. Uh, but you're going to have to... Oh my god, she is... What? Was she, she crawling? Oh, that's a thing. Yeah, that's a thing in the new... Okay, you're not doing a very good job at killing this thing, Chris. Thankfully, Chris can regenerate themselves. So hopefully Omar can... Can... I don't know. Hopefully Omar can get new research available. Proximity is Okay. Hopefully Omar can bring she back in time before uh, they die. Death in four hours. That's not good. Chris, I, I fully believe in your ability to bash this thing to death. Come on, Chris. You can do this. Omar... Quickly get um she home, Chris. You oh my god, Chris did it. Okay, kill it. Like kill it and kill it dead. She's still got four hours to live. We can do this. We can survive. I like how they crawl now. They crawl to like safety. Okay, now yeah, tend to she. Chris, you have brutally murdered this thing. And I'm so glad that you heal yourself. I like zombies that just can't die. They're just like, I don't know. That's really cool. Um, I'm curious to see what happens when it dies. Hopefully Omar can tend to she before uh, she dies. We have a visitor. I'm so not interested in that. Okay, we've killed it. I, I kind of want to... Dread leather. That's horrifying. Uh, Chris, you can go ahead and consume it. You you have earned that right. You've killed it. You've earned the right to to absolutely devour that thing. And it looks like she's going to survive. I am curious to see if it drops any meat. Chris, you can, like... I don't know. You're good to go back to doing whatever you want now. Omar, can we... All this thing, maybe? Back to home and... I mean, I kind of want to butcher it, but I want—I I don't know if it'll give us a debuff. Entity corpses. Yeah. I like how it says undiscover when we haven't discovered yet. She is back up and running. Can we butcher it and see what happens? Okay, so no debuff. That's good. And it gives twisted meat for... Okay. All right. I'm okay with this. What are you butchering now? She is off to grab her stuff back, which is good. They've given us a fox fur bowler hat. I forgot that she absolutely could have used her turret pack. But I forgot about that she could have used. Um, but I do think... Um, I don't know. Exploring like hunting seems like a bad idea right now. I kind of want to get this thing. A mad squirrel. Really, you guys? Chris, attack the mad squirrel. I really kind of want to get this uh, entity holding platform up operational. In case we get any more. Because I don't actually know what it does, but I want to use it anyway. Okay. The holding platform's up and running. I think that's a good thing. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it's a good thing. Chris has recovered from a lot of their injuries, which is great. They're doing they're doing the Lord's work. Alright, she's hard at work at growing some heal rate transport pod crash. Uh I think we rescue them. No! Hold on, not finish them off. Uh I think we'll rescue them. If anything, if they die, it's free food for um Chris, so let's go rescue them. Okay, with well, the plants fully grow fully uh, planted, I just I I'm I know I shouldn't I know I should wait until we get some sort of defenses up and running, but you know what? Never mind. We're being raided by the filth packers. Um, Chris, you know what to do, right? You, Chris, smash. 
Chris the Hulk, Hulkin Hulker. Uh, it's a genie, so I'm expecting it to go down pretty quickly. Although Chris is not having a great time here. Come on, Chris, you can do better than this. Chris versus Case. Uh, Chris, are you okay there, buddy? There we go. All right, so we can have. Um, let's get that. I also I do want to I do want to take them prisoner. So right now I'm just gonna stick them in the holding cell. So Omar, come down and uh, pick up the axe because it's better than your knife, and then capture cha uh, case. Chris, you're good, buddy. You're good. Maybe we'll work on a proper uh, prisoner bay, but. I do want to try and recruit uh, Case because they're a genie. They're actually not a very... Actually, do we want to recruit Case? I don't think... I mean, we might as well. They're not going to be very good, but we might as well. There's no harm in having an extra person. Okay, so she is studying the monolith. I don't know if that does anything, but I must discover four more basic monolith entry entities. Okay. Well, they're studying it. That's what they do over time, I suppose. Well, it's nice that they blast through mining, because they've both got very good mining skills. So I think we can probably upgrade our wooden walls here to, like, steel walls. Which I think makes sense, right? So, like, it's more secure. So we'll go ahead and do that. Maybe I should give it a better door. Security door. Heavily reinforced door. Slow to open requires electricity, but is very strong. It's a good choice if you want to keep something dangerous out or in. Uh, I think we'll just stick with a steel door for now. So here's the thing. I think we need to make some sort of, like, secure facility around the void monolith. Because I'm concerned at what may come out. And if things come out of it, or if things spawn around it. Because again, I have had no experience with... Um, I just have Chris, like, chill out in, in the prison room. If I forbid that, can he leave? I don't think he can. Because uh, I've had no experience... Oh, they can't eat, though. I've had no experience with this, this DLC, so I truly don't know... You know what happens with the monolith so i feel like starting i'm gonna have uh this set to not fresh so i can keep all the rotten corpses uh let's keep all the fresh corpses in the in the fridge so we can cook them uh so yeah i'm not sure what happens so we'll i guess we'll find out uh but i do want to build a secure facility around it Oh, that's really cool. The books that they've got train certain skills. So she's reading an art book and she's gaining art experience. That's so good. They're like skill books. I love that. Absolutely love that. So in this brief down period of events uh, in the game, I thought I'd go over the channel a little bit. Um, I've not been around a lot because I've been working full time and it's exhausting. Uh, but I may be stepping down from my current role, which means I will have more time to produce content, which is what I actually want to really be doing. Um, I've also kind of been a little bit burnt out on RimWorld, so having this new DLC drop now is is a good time for it to drop, because it means I get to experience it with you guys, and I'm not burnt out in the game anymore. Like, it's been a while. However, I won't just be re producing RimWorld content anymore, uh, which is... You know, I've been foraying into other styles of content at the same time, and it may be a hit to the channel, but I believe not just producing RimWorld content at a lower standard is a good idea, and we can produce more content at a higher standard. So if there's any other games you guys would like to see, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and uh, we'll experience them together. Also, I don't know if this is, a little, this is new, but these tiny little trees are very cute. Oh, she and Omar have become lovers. I love that because uh, it means they can share a bedroom and be considerably happier in said bedroom. We're even going to give them an ornate door. I'm not going to give them an ornate door because that costs 50 gold and I don't have 50 gold. So it's just, just the normal door for you guys, I'm afraid. But we'll give you a pimped out bedroom, I promise. 
it would appear we have another raid. I'm trying to remember my key to follow the camera, but I don't think I have that mod installed right now. But uh, we have Smogaraz. Um, you know, I'm not particularly concerned, especially because I've got Chris to just take up the brunt. I don't know if Chris can die because of his ghoul regeneration, but I imagine it's a lot harder for him to die than it is for anyone else to die. So I'm just going to have she take some shots while Chris basically beats on Smograz. I mean, Chris doesn't seem to have... He's only been bruised at the moment. Doesn't seem to get bleeding. Oh, okay. We can take him prisoner. We will take him prisoner. As a matter of fact, but I'm going to have she do it because he's a, she's a better doctor. So we have another prisoner. I would like to build some more proximity detectors when I've researched it around the base because so far we've only got one and actually that kind of should be covering the containment area as well as the obelisk, I think. Um, which leaves certain areas undefended. Like the bedroom, for example. Uh, so we'll have to build a few more of those. But what I've what I think I've discovered in this in this DLC is, is not a DLC you play with every run, only when you feel like doing a proper anomaly run. And I think I kind of like that. I think Remod needs more of that, like more focused content. We have a mad gazelle, and Chris is just 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 beating on it. I'll have she come down and give Chris a hand. But like. I have full faith in Chris in being able to take out this this deer. Gazelle. Gazelle. Uh, but I will I will bring she down just to give him a hand, just in case. But I am curious to see if they can go unconscious. That's a genuine question for me, and I guess we'll find out later in the playthrough. Oh, she's ex-lover has landed in a crash pot. Oh my god, is that another ghoul? That's another ghoul. Can we have another ghoul? Can we do that? Can we have more than one ghoul? Oh, we totally can. Capturable main containment strat. I don't... Okay. So we... Oh, we can study them. We can release them. Can we, can we release it and then capture it again? I don't know. I'll have it set to study for now. It's concerning that uh, that was she's ex-lover, but let's let's not pay much attention to that, shall we? Um, cool. Oh, that's cool. The animation, uh, you that that right there, it's, it's a really cool animation. I'm concerned. So, containment strength 67, escape interval 3.3 years. That's fine. So it's not likely to escape. I think that's what that means. So I think we're okay with it being contained for a while. I would like to build a few more of these holding platforms. So we can capture more ghouls and stuff. Okay, I didn't anticipate um, that removing the containment pattern to move it uh, would make the other ghoul uh, hostile. Uh, so I'm going to have... They may have to kill him. Don't know if Chris can handle this, but Omar, you you need to you need to get into bed, my friends, so we can heal you right up. Okay, she, can you do that and then you get past Soto? No, okay. No, oh, I don't want you... Uh, you just go and tend to Omar. Chris can handle Soto. I think. Possibly. I'm not sure, to be honest. I don't know if you can actually kill ghouls or not. I'm going to make the assumption that you can. Okay, so you, you can indeed kill ghouls. That's unfortunate, because I was really hoping we'd be able to contain them. Uh, so that uh, uh, we'll, we'll chalk that up to a learning experience. Oh, we've got a prison break. 
So we may end up having to put Smogaraz down as well. Chris, go and start fighting. Don't let them get the don't let them get the knife. Don't let them get they got the knife. That's fine. Between Chris and she, we should be fine taking uh Shmogaz, Shmograz out, I think. And then we may end up just not recruiting them in the end. Ah, uh, well, they died anyway. Ooh, I love the new potato bright, potato plant sprites. They're cute. That's that's a very cute addition. Ah, we've researched entity containment. Good. Let's next work on... Ooh, Electra. Builds generate that draws electricity from contained... Air. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, we got to go with proximity detector, though, because I want that more than the other thing. She has had a breakthrough while studying the monolith. She believes the monolith is a conduit for psychic energy, connecting to some distant location. However, she's unsure where or what it connects to. She is convinced that by studying more anomalous entities, she can find a way to close the conduit or learn to harness its power. The monolith now provides more knowledge when studied. Prisoner, being held by the filth packers, has managed to steal a radio and call you. King is being held at a camp near Prepper's Cave. Pepper's Cave, under armed guard. Two turrets, one mortar, and two wasters. That's a lot. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle that. Plus, it's just a child, so that's not exactly the most useful colonist for us. We have expanded... Uh, we have expanded the security... I guess, like, perimeter, I guess, around... Um, the containment field, so... These are also secure, so if we have to, we can run out and defend from out here rather than, like, just in this little spot here. Omar has begun to fixate on the Void and wishes to investigate using the Void Provocation Ritual. Use the Void Provocation Ritual to, to discover and capture entities. Captured entities can be studied to complete... Okay, so research Void Provocation, then place a ritual, psychic ritual spot. Void Provocation. Okay, that's what we'll work on next then, I suppose. Okay, Void Provocation. Build a Psychic Ritual spot and perform Psychic Rituals. Use the Void Prosif... Okay. So, I have a Ritual spot. Does it have to be a Psychic Ritual spot? Oh, yeah. I'm assuming it have to, uh, has to be outside. Okay. Sure, we'll do it, like, right here. Why not, right? Omar wants to do it. Let's, uh... 74% chance the Invoker will receive a Dark Psychic Shock. That doesn't sound great, but let's try it anyway. Um, she, can we have you, like, and Chris just, just here? Just ready? In case something goes wrong? Okay, Void Provocation complete. Omar has finished performing the Void Provocation ritual, sending out a Psychic Pulse. That will attract entities. Prepare for what comes next. Okay, so Omar's in a short-term coma. Oh, only three hours. That's that's fine. We can live with that. Let's just hope whatever entity shows up is not too scary. Shambler's approach. A small group of three shambling corpses is approaching. The inhumane force that animates them is fading, so they will collapse within a day. If you capture one, you can study it for anomaly. Otherwise, they might not notice you if you leave them alone. Zombies? That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's let's go about this then. Let's try and capture one or two of these, shall we? Omar is back up and running, which is great. Okay, these guys are a little quicker than I expected them to be. Uh I would rather wait until Omar is around to deal with them. Let's avoid those spooky trees. I would really like a more long-ranged weapon. I'm not going to lie. I mean, if I have to, I can use the turrets. Okay, we killed one. Okay, Chris, go and... Go and fight that one. She, if you hold your fire for now. 
Where's the other? The other one's down here. So we have another chance to do it in a minute. You back up a little bit. Uh, you guys can come down here and try and capture this last one. Chris, I have full faith in your ability to take that one down. Maybe I have too much faith in Chris. I'm not sure. But we'll go We'll go try and get the other one as well. Okay, they're getting married. That's cool. She, you can now fire at will again. Back up a little bit. I don't want them getting too close because I have no idea what sort of damage they can inflict. Okay, Chris killed that one as well. Not ideal. So do we have to just, like... Oh, and we killed that one as well. Okay, so... Maybe there's a better way of dealing with this rather than just killing them. Supreme hares. A pack of two wild hares are hunting a traitor. Uh, yeah, we'll do that for the plastil because... Two hairs aren't scary, but like eighty-one plastil is pretty pretty darn good. So I'll take that, and um, we'll just have Chris take the blunt the, the brunt of the damage because that's what he's good at. Uh, she, if you can focus on that one, like I'm I'm not worried about Chris here taking too much damage because he can just regenerate it and. You know, they're rabbits. There's one dead. Can we maybe kill the other one? And there's the other one dead. Good job. Okay, the Void Provocation Psychic Ritual can be done again. So I'm going to have Omar do it again. The poor boy. Um, simply because she and... She's a more valuable fighter right now. So I'm going to keep her uh, keep her around with Chris. Okay, so we know that Omar's going to go unconscious again. And then we're going to hang around and wait for the uh, things to arrive. Okay, Omar's up and running already. That's great, actually. That's wonderful news. Flesh beast attack. Oh, a flesh beast. The ground seems to be giving way. Sounds of writhing flesh and cracking bones can be heard from below. That looks like a big boy. Whereas, where's, oh, okay, it's not a big boy, but what is that? Small hole connecting to some unseen cave network deep under the surface. The walls are too steep to climb. It's inherently unstable and collapse after some time. Well, that's good. I'm not going to bother filling it in if it's going to collapse then. However, I don't want you guys going too far away from the base. So, ooh, new research available. Summon flesh beasts. Is it me or does flesh beast sound like some sort of, like, bad dragon... Uh, purchasable phallic object. Alright, Chris, let's go. Oh. It just... Just just died. Okay. Well, with that, with that apparent excitement... Um, okay, I'll tell you what. Let's go and have a look at what filling in this does shall we let's get she to go and uh we'll get omar to go fill in because he's he's prioritized to construction so let's go fill in the pit burrow does that do anything it just fills it in okay well uh to end <laughs> with that excitement you know thoroughly exciting i was hoping to get a few more anomalous things in the holding platform but it's okay we had one and we we lost one but that was down to me so I hope you've enjoyed this episode and our first foray into RimWorld Anomaly. Um, I hope you join me for the next episode coming out soon, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.